Welcome back to the 2021 Fanny Awards! Hey, welcome back everybody. Thanks for returning for day four of the Fanny Awards. We got some fun stuff coming up ahead. Let's get right to it. It's day four, which means if my math is right, and it usually isn't, we're talking about my number seven favorite film of the year. And as I know, and as you all are about to find out, the number seven favorite film of the year for me was Fear Street. All right, technically, yes, this isn't one movie, it's three. But in a way, that's kind of the point. Netflix movies tend to have a certain style, wherein the streaming giant seems to go out of its way to make all of its original films as bland and forgettable as possible. But then along comes Fear Street, a horror opus spanning three distinct time periods with a whole slew of colorful characters, memorable locations, and original villains. Sure, the foundations may have already been laid by R.L. Stein, but there was actual human effort put into this, and it shows. And let's not forget the most amazing thing. Fear Street is one giant story told in a trilogy which was filmed back to back. This is the only time American cinema has done this since the Middle Earth movies. Yeah, let that sink in. We need more things like Fear Street. I I don't understand what the world is waiting for, but we need more things like Fear Street. In the meantime, though, I have this shiny golden award to give out to another special film. A special film that has earned the very exciting title of Best Action Scene of the Year. I'm full of adrenaline just thinking about it. What's it going to be? Let's hear who the five nominees are. One of them is walking away with this. The Motorcycle Chase from Black Widow. The Matera Chase from No Time to Die. The Bus Fight from Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. The Final Battle, from Spider-Man No Way Home. And The Squad vs. Starro, from The Suicide Squad. And the world's most exciting fanny goes to... The Bus Scene, Shang-Chi, and the Legend of the Ten Rings. Action and spectacle are everywhere in Hollywood. Sometimes... That gets desensitizing, and we can forget what great action is supposed to look like. The best action scenes ever put to screen are the ones that operate like slick Rube Goldberg machines. A chain of cause and effect scenarios that can amp up the stakes with every thrown punch or fired pistol. Great examples of this are the three-way sword fight from Pirates of the Caribbean Dead Man's Chest, or any action sequence from the Indiana Jones movies. Well, stop the bus and open the doors because Shang-Chi is climbing on board and joining our ranks. This scene is everything. It's cause and effect action at its finest. Razor Fist cuts the brake line, which makes the bus go out of control, which causes the driver to get knocked out, which forces Katie to steer, which makes the bus swerve more frantically, etc. And all the while, the world gets to see Shang-Chi himself in action for the first time, and he does not disappoint. This was not just the best action scene of the year. It might even be a contender for the best action scene in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Seriously, everybody who's making a Marvel movie in the future, you've got that bus scene to worry about because that is going to be hanging like cloud over Marvel for a long, long time. But that has been day four of the Fanny Awards. I'm going to see you here tomorrow for day five. What's going to happen? I don't know. We're probably going to talk about a film, though. I would say Vegas odds on that are pretty good. Stick around. The awards continue tomorrow.